I wanted to circle back to the whole uh, mech drum from Star Citizen. They introduced this mech suit you're seeing right here, which is used to lift the heavy cargo boxes and was sold for 40 bucks. Now, the drama is basically it's overpriced, it's, it's too expensive. And also, they created a problem where you can no longer lift these heavy boxes and you need this specific uh, piece of machinery to do it, which is a great reason to buy it, but at what price? Now, the reason I wanted to wait a couple of days is twofold. One, I wanted to see what the sales of this would be like exactly. And so uh, we have them now. I think this is a good way to kind of gauge the interest that the community had. And as we can see, it's a, about, let's call it 600,000 plus 700,000 plus another two, 300,000 over there. It came out to roughly 1.5 million in sales, which is not bad. In fact, it's pretty good. So the people complaining that it's too expensive, maybe, but look, People still bought it. I want to point out something here, and I also want to take a look at a post on Reddit, and I think um, a small man over here on Reddit posted a pretty good summary of the situation, and uh, his criticism is basically he's going to give us a timeline of why he believes this is a cash grab, and yes, technically everything is a cash grab in Star Citizen. Um, now, some of this criticism is... 100% correct, all right? They dropped the Atlas and they didn't post about the tractor beam rebalance officially, meaning they made some changes with the way the game mechanics work with moving the heavy boxes. I agree 100% that they should have said, we plan on making this change, but we we're also introducing this mech to help facilitate the movement of cargo. If they had just told us that first, I think there would have been a lot less heat. So definitely Star Citizen is not, uh, CIG is not a perfect company. They will make mistakes and they do. And they mess up sometimes. And I think we can pretty comfortably say this was one of the times they messed up because if they were going to make these changes to the way cargo is moved and they're going to introduce the tool that can fix the situation, then tell us ahead of time, don't leave it for the Q&A in the Atlas itself. 100% agree. But on the second part of the criticism, which a lot of people are complaining about, which is the price, is saying, hang on a second, uh, for the price of $40, all you're getting is basically a glorified tractor beam, where you can buy a starter pack for $45, or you can buy the Pisces, which is an amazing, cool starter ship for $60, or even cooler, the Cutter, for $60. Bucks. How can you price that at $40? But you cannot argue with the fact that $1.5 million was sold. Those saying, hey, if it was cheaper, I would have bought more, it's time for me to go to the whiteboard to explain this yet again for the thousandth time. And I said this on Twitter also when a lot of people cried about it. The truth of the matter is CIG knows what price points to price stuff at. Now, they may misprice things at times, but other times they will misprice things to the downside also. We've had some ships come in at a very reasonable price, and uh, the opposite is true. So let's call this price. Let's call this quantity. Now, back to economics 101. Well, maybe not 101, but back to economics, all right? We're going to have this curve, and it's going to look mm, something like that. And let's say something costs $100 up here, and let's say in quantity there's one over here, and the quantity is 100 down here. Now, bear with me, because CIG has this information more than you and I do. They understand pricing. They may mess up sometimes, and I'll explain why. If they had to price something at 100 bucks, let's say there's a pen, they're pricing a plastic in-game pen at 100 bucks. You know, maybe one person will buy it because who wants to buy a pen at 100 bucks? But if they had to price that same pen at $1, there may be 100 people that will buy that pen. So if they're priced at 100 bucks, they will make $100. If they're priced at $1, they will still make $100 worth of sales. So where's the sweet spot, I ask you? And that's the question I have, but they have the answer to because they've made lots of sales in the past. Now, if they price something, say, at $60, all right, let's say 60 bucks is here, they know approximately X amount will sell over there. If they price it at $40, they know roughly it will sell around there. So pricing something around the 40 50 or 60 dollar range hits that sweet spot for them this area here 
is the area of maximum profits, all right? So if they're going to sell an item and they're going to sell it at 40 bucks or 50 bucks or 60 bucks, they know at 60 bucks they're going to sell a bit less. But they know at 40 bucks they'll sell a bit more. And they know at 50 bucks, I'm just giving an example, they know it's roughly going to be there. This area here is the area of maximum profitability. I know some of you are expecting me to draw a PP. I'm not going to do it. This is just showing you maximum profitability will be in this area here. <laughs> I can still draw it. No, I won't. So anyway, um, that is why they want to hit this area. <laughs> why it's priced. Uh, we're so silly. But anyway, now you know why they priced the mech at 40 bucks. Now, this example of me, of pens, and me giving the pen example, might not be the exact one, but in regards to pricing of the mech itself, and keeping in mind that starter packages are 45, 50, 60 bucks. Have you considered that the starter packages for this game are just extremely cheap? Considering it's 2024, where are you buying a game? Granted, we are still in development and there are tons of bugs, but the scope and reach of what this game has right now, at this moment in time, for 45 bucks, there isn't much out there, right? In the year 2024, paying 45 bucks for a starter package for this game, I think, is pretty decent. So is it that the mech itself is overpriced at 40 bucks, Or is it that we're just used to this game package kind of being cheap? You know, this should easily be, in my opinion, 55 to 60 at this point in time. Um, so I do think what CIG has done here is basically saying, hey, here's a game package pretty cheap. You know, here's, have a try. Have a puff. And if you like it, then there's more stuff later. That's what they're doing here with the game packages, in my opinion. But I feel the, the overall game packages, the comparison of the mech itself, of uh, this mech here, uh, it was 40. Am I right? I think it was 35. 35 for the cash price, 40 bucks for credit. Let's call it 35 bucks. At 35 bucks for a glorified tractor beam, which lifts the large boxes over there, maybe. Maybe overpriced, but keep in mind at 35, they're hitting that sweet spot. It's exactly where they need to be. They see the numbers more than you and I do. They understand the price points and they can see from $1.5 million in sales. All right. I think they did not bad for selling a tractor beam and getting $1.5 million, which covers the salary for what, 30 or 40 employees at lower range. They've definitely done well with it. So uh, I think they did well in terms of generating the revenue they did. But um, as far as all that other criticism, I can't argue against it, you know. I think they're definitely right uh, with the criticisms of them. They should have telegraphed this ahead of time at least. Not that it would have made things a lot better, but I think it would have made things a little bit better. But the other thing I want to point out is, uh, and this is a fun little experiment, go into Spectrum now. And take note of the people complaining the loudest, all right? Nine out of ten times, the people who complain and scream and cry the loudest are the most hardcore and dedicated fans of Star Citizen. So while they may cry and complain and scream about this right now, I guarantee you, nine out of ten times, the same people will happily cough up 200 250 300 dollars for whatever the next cool ship will be and they will do it happily it's like having a bipolar girlfriend right uh one day she'll scream and shout at you and say you're the worst ever the next day she's hugging and kissing you and saying you're the best ever uh that's the relationship these hardcore players have <laughs> with star citizen they hate the game but then next week they'll love the game it's the best thing in the world uh, so fun experiment do that take note of the names and the next cool ship sale we have Watch as the same people praise CIG for doing an amazing job. It's always like that, every single time. But anyway, let's wrap it up there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to give me a follow and like, and I'll catch you all the next time. Did I mess it up? My, what's my outro? I haven't done this in so long. I'll catch you the next time? No. What was my outro? I'll catch you next time. I don't know. I, I got to go back and check. <laughs>